Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I am Humaira binti Abdul Rahman. In this video, we are going to explore the reaction of elevated alcohol which is a Lucas test. This is a group members. The first person is me, Humaira binti Abdul Rahman. My friends, Nur Rahwani Rifka binti Rosini and the last one is Nur Hazira binti Razali. Firstly, it's about the introduction of alcohol. Alcohol is an organic compound that contains a hydroxy group. The general formula for alcohol is CnH2n plus 1 OH. Look at this structure. The structure show one example of alcohol, which is ethanol. Next, solubility. Alcohol with a certain number of carbon, which is carbons less than 6, are soluble in water. Meanwhile, the boiling point of alcohol is higher than alkene. Next slide, we will learn about the classification of aliphatic alcohol. Alcohol compound can be grouped into three classes, including primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. Primary alcohol is a hydroxy compound in which the OH group is bonded to one carbon. The secondary alcohol is a compound that is bonded to two carbon. Then, the same goes with tertiary alcohol will be bonded to three carbons. However, how can we identify the category of alcohol compound in laboratory or industrial? One of that, we can use the Lucas test. In the Lucas test, we need a Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent is a mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and zinc chloride. The objective for the experiment is to differentiate the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. The chemicals are Lucas reagent, butanol, 2-butanol, and 2 methyl 2 propanol Furthermore, the apparatus that required in this experiment are test tube, test tube rock, and droppers. Hello, my name is Nurun Vani Rifka, and now I'm going to continue this video by explaining the procedure and result observations of the Lucas test experiment. Firstly, you need to put 6 drops of Lucas reagent into 3 different test tubes which are test tube A, B, and C. Then, you will need to put 3 drops of each alcohol, which is the primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol into one test tube each. In this experiment, we are using the butanol, 2-butanol, and 2-methyl-2-propanol. After that, you need to shake the test tubes and observe the results. These are the results of the Lucas test experiment after 0 minutes and after 5 minutes. As you can see, on test tube A, there is no reaction even after 5 minutes has passed. However, on test tube B, the solutions in the test tube become cloudy after 5 minutes and on test tube C, the solution turns cloudy immediately. Therefore, on test tube A, we can identify it as a primary alcohol which in this experiment we are using the butanol while for test tube B is a secondary alcohol, which we are using a 2-butanol, and for test tube C is a tertiary alcohol, which is the 2-methylpropanol. Hi, I'm Nur Hazira bin Razali. Here is my part, which is explanation part. At my part, I will explain how we got the result in test tube A, B, and C. Basically, the reaction of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol with Lucas reagent take place through a unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction mechanism. Lucas reagent form carbocation as intermediate with all three alcohols, but the stability of carbocation intermediate differs in all three reactions. Firstly, in test tube A, which is primary alcohol, it do not give any result with Lucas reagent at room temperature because it is carbocation in highly unstable. 
while secondary alcohol, which is in test tube B, it gives results in Lucas reagent after few minutes as its carbocation intermediate is moderately stable. Lastly, in test tube C, which is tertiary alcohol, it gives instant result with Lucas reagent as its carbocation is highly stable. Thus, we can write stability of carbocation as tertiary alcohol is greater than secondary and primary alcohol. Next, in conclusion part, therefore, Lucas test is used to distinguish primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. It gives information about which alcohol gives the fastest alkyl halides. In other words, which alcohol can be the fastest to change the clear solution into cloudiness. By Lucas test, we can write the order of giving alkyl halide as tertiary alcohol is greater than secondary and primary alcohol.